Hello everyone! I'm back with another game uh, from day one. Uh, this is from round three. Ushmana Tanan is playing against Peter Leko, and a lot of play a lot of people are saying that this is the greatest game played in day one. Uh, but uh, they may that may or may not be so. That is open for discussion, I guess. Uh, but not only did Anand play a brilliant game against Leko here, uh, he played all five games uh, excellent, and uh, with three wins and two draws after five rounds. Uh, he's currently in 7th place with 4 points, or in shared 3rd place, whichever you prefer. Uh, but that being said, let's let's see this game. Uh, Anand has the white pieces, and again we have e4. So a lot of e4s in this uh, World Rapid Championship. Uh, Leko goes for e5, knight to f3, knight c6, and bishop to c4. Uh, the Italian game. Uh, bishop to c5, we have castles, and knight to f6. D3, castles, uh, h3, d6, uh, this is all standard theory, c3, a6, uh, a4, preventing b5, uh, bishop to a7, we have knight b to d2, knight to e7, and rook to e1. Uh, c6 now, maybe preparing to push d5 or b5, uh, bishop to b3, not allowing to push d5 or b5 with tempo, also preparing to remaneuver the bishop to c2. Uh, from there, uh, the bishop will help uh, help guard the center, and also maybe maybe later it will become an attacking piece uh, when it will be able to reach h7. Uh, knight to g6, we have bishop to c2 immediately, rook to e8, and d4. Uh, knight to h5, and now we have knight to f1, preparing knight g3 or f or e3, depends on what black plays. Uh, knight h to f4, and knight to g3 now. E captures on d4, C captures on d4, and d5. And this is the first uh, inaccuracy by Leko. Here he played d5 and allowed Anand to push e5. Now Anand's bishop uh, becomes alive. Uh, also the bishop uh, on c1 is also pretty good. Uh, instead of this uh, d5 idea after C captures on d4, uh, a better approach would actually be c5. Now if you capture then the queens come off the board, the dark square bishop becomes active. Uh, but if Anand pushes d5, then his own light square bishop isn't uh, that powerful. And this this uh, pawn structure would... Uh, would uh, Black would enjoy this pawn structure much more than the one after c captures on d4 and d5. But okay, Anand plays e5. We have c5 now, but now it, uh, it seems it's a bit too late. Uh, Anand plays bishop captures on g6. We have knight captures on g6 and bishop to g5 with a tempo on the queen. Uh, knight to e7 is played and queen to d2 now. Uh, and here, uh, there are there are a lot of possible moves here for black, but actually none of them are very good. Uh, probably the best move for black would be something like king to h8. But uh, even uh, realizing that you're already in a in, in a bad position as black here isn't isn't uh, very easy, especially in rapid chess. Uh, so in this position, Leko played h6. And this is where Anand really, really goes all out. He plays bishop to f6. Uh, possible was also bishop captures on h6, uh, leading to a lot better position for white. Uh, but okay, bishop to f6 by Anand, and Leko plays king to h7. Uh, the idea behind the uh, g captures on f6 is a pretty wild one. If g captures on f6, uh, then the simple queen h6, uh, knight to f5, uh, and uh, now knight captures on f5. Uh, bishop captures on f5 and now e captures on f6. Uh, the threat is now of course queen to g7 checkmate uh, and after rook captures, rook captures and queen to f8 to defend checkmate simply queen to g5. Uh, if you move the king uh, you lose the bishop on f5 so bishop to g6 and now rook to e7 and uh, there really are no moves here for black. Uh, white, is, white is threatening knight e5 followed by knight captures on g6 and this is game over. Uh, you can't even stop it with rook to e8 in hopes of exchanging rooks because again knight to e5 and after rook captures pawn captures you have to you have to guard the queening square after you play queen to e8 uh white can really do anything to win here uh knight g4 with the threat of knight to f6 uh, check forking the king and the queen and now you really are without a move if you move the queen simply white gets the queen with check you capture and knight to f6 forks the king and queen uh, this is winning, and if you try something like uh, king to g7 to prevent this, then 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 the simple queen h6 check is checkmate in two. Uh, king g8 and knight to f6, uh, this is checkmate. 
So after this, bishop to f6, uh, Leko declines. The bishop plays king to h7, but it's, this isn't any better. Knight to g5 immediately by Anand, uh, checking the king. And again, uh, uh, what's the idea here? If you capture the knight, uh, h captures knight, then you get queen captures on g5. Again, the threat is queen captures on g7 checkmate. Uh, there is simply too much, uh, too much uh, threats here on the dark squares. Uh, Leko's dark square bishop is trapped there on a7. Uh, can't really come and help. Uh, so after something like g captures and e captures, again, there's a threat of queen to g7 checkmate. Uh, knight to f5, simply knight captures, and after rook captures would check rook captures and queen to f8. Queen to f8. Uh, this is the only move as white was threatening not only queen g7 checkmate, <coughs> uh, but also some queen to h6 followed by uh, g7 checkmate. So queen, queen to f8 prevents both of these uh, attacks. Uh, but now simply rook to e8 and uh, <clears throat> black is without a move. Uh, you're going to lose the queen the next move and then the move uh, after that is going to be checkmate. Uh, so after this knight to g5 check by Anand, Leko plays king to g8 and now Anand brings another piece into the attack, knight to h5. And this is just... Uh, H captures on g5 doesn't work, uh, pretty much uh, because of the same uh, reasons. Uh, of course, now there's an additional attacker here. So g captures on f6, capturing the bishop here is really the only move. So g captures on f6. Uh, we have knight captures on f7 now, and this, this is beautiful. Uh, this comes with a tempo on the queen. Uh, the queen is ready to jump to h6. Uh, there is really no, no good move other than to capture the knight. Uh, king captures on f7 and now queen captures on h6. Uh, we have knight to f5, this comes with an attack on the queen, queen to h7 check now, uh, king goes to f8 uh, and, and now comes e captures on f6. Uh, bishop, to e, bishop to e6 and uh, we have knight to f4 here. And this comes with a terrible threat of knight to g6. Uh, Leko played queen captures on f6. Uh, and now knight to g6 check, the king has no squares, all the squares are covered, uh, only move here is to capture the knight, uh, Aleko is forced to capture it, queen captures on g6, uh, queen captures on g6, and if you look at this position, okay, black does have three pieces for the queen, but the king is wide open on f8, it's gonna be impossible for, uh, for Leko to, to do anything in this position. Uh, knight to g7 was played, now comes rook to e3, and uh, if Anand played instead of rook to e3, if he played rook to a3, this would have been a lot faster, as it's better for this rook to stay on the e-file, with rook to a3 followed by f3, it would have been over much faster, uh, but both, mo both moves are winning, doesn't really matter. Uh, rook to e3, uh, we have rook to e7, preparing to double up on the e-file, rook a to e1 now, Anand doubles up on the e-file, rook a to e8, uh, rook to g3, uh, we have rook to f7, h4 now preparing h5 and h6, uh, bishop to b8 uh, getting that bishop that was trapped on a7 back into the game, now rook g to e3 back, uh, rook f to e7 back and now d captures on c5, simply grabbing a pawn, I mean why not. Uh, bishop to f7 with a tempo on the queen, uh, queen, to, queen to f6, now rook captures, rook captures, rook captures, pawn captures, and uh, bishop to c7, now Leko has three pieces for the queen, the rooks are off the board, uh, but here comes g4, and those pawns are, are really very hard to stop. Uh, knight to e8, with a tempo on the queen, queen checks on h8, uh, bishop to g8, and now comes h5, uh, and here is Leko's last try, <laughs> and it's, it's a really sneaky try, uh, Leko plays bishop to d8, and he's hoping He's hoping for Anand to blunder the game by playing uh, h6 and uh, prepare h7 to win the bishop. Uh, but if Anand played h6, this would have actually cost Anand the game because after bishop to f6, uh, Anand's queen on h8 is trapped. So this would have been very unfortunate uh, for the former world champion. Uh, but after bishop to d8, Anand simply played queen to h6 check, knight g7, now comes queen d6 check. Uh, bishop, bishop e7, queen b8 check, uh, knight blocks, now simply b4, uh, a5, simply queen captures b7, a captures, queen captures, uh, knight to f6, and we have queen to f4 check, king e8, and now comes c6, uh, and after bishop to e6 and h6, uh, in this position, uh, Peter Leko resigned the game.
Uh, there are simply too many pawns, you can't stop all of them, the h pawn is <laughs> becoming a queen very soon, the c pawn is also very close, uh, the a pawn is pretty much unstoppable, so there's really no point in continuing this. Uh, there was some, maybe some merit to continuing the position while the rooks were still on the board, uh, maybe maybe trick on and into, you know, worsening his position, but uh, since uh, uh, he didn't, he did no such thing, uh, it's it's pretty fair to resign in this position so yeah uh, definitely a, a beautiful game and uh, you know quite the attacking uh, quite the attacking style uh, some, <laughs> almost like uh, like Hanan was 30 years younger uh, when they when they still called him the lightning kid uh, when he crushed everyone you know in blitz <laughs> rapid and uh, any, any tank control really uh, so what do you think about the game is it is it the best game of day one and uh, you know Maybe maybe Fide should consider bringing back the Brilliancy Prize into tournaments and you know offering, offering something along with the Brilliancy Prize. So, you know some money, some fame, I guess. Uh, maybe 50 additional uh, uh, Elo points. You know any, anything, but uh, definitely would uh, give players uh, something something to fight for. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. And I think day two already started. So uh, I'm going to go uh, check out if there are any, any interesting games uh, in day two already. See you soon.